Hi, brothers and sisters and friends. Okay, so I am going to share with you a second part of my dream and discern everything that you hear. So before I even start, what you're looking at, because I don't want you to be like, what am I looking at? This is actually a picture that my son drew. And I asked him, I said, Scotty, this is really interesting. What is this? And he said, it's a sword falling on someone. And I was like, hmm, okay. You know, don't know why, but it was the spirit inside of him that was using him to draw this. And it's very symbolic. And the, I already shared a scripture with you before, but actually the Lord has led me to more scripture. And God is a God of order. And lately I've been drawn to Jeremiah 23. But recently I was drawn to Jeremiah 24. And this is actually, um, the Lord gave me this scripture and I didn't share about it. But he gave me this scripture um, because recently in another, in one of my dream videos I shared where the uh, agents came to my house and arrested me and took me captive. This, it was actually a good thing and it was to take me captive to save me uh, from what is coming upon the city. And in uh, Jeremiah 24, I will just read it really quick here. Uh, one basket had very good figs, like the figs that are first ripe. And the other basket had very bad figs, which could not be eaten, and that were so bad. Then the Lord said to me, What do you see, Jeremiah? And I said, Figs, the good figs, very good. The bad, very bad, which cannot be eaten. They are so bad. Again, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Thus says the Lord God, of Israel, Like these good figs, so will I acknowledge those who are carried away captive from Judah, whom I have sent out of this place for their own good, into the land of the Chaldeans. For I will set my eyes on them for good, and I will bring them back to this land. I will build them and not pull them down. I will plant them and not pluck them up. Then I will give them a heart to know me. I, that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, for they shall return to me with their whole heart. As the bad figs that cannot be eaten, they are so bad. So I will give up Zedekiah, the king of Judah, his princes, the residue of Jerusalem who remain in the land, and those who dwell in the land of Egypt. I will deliver them to trouble and to all the kingdoms of the earth for their harm to be a reproach and byword a taunt and a curse in all places where i shall drive them and i will send the sword the famine and the pestilence among them so they are consumed from the land that i gave to them and their fathers and then so that was confirmation so that was um the verse that the Lord gave me that I, that I was carried away captive, it was actually a good thing. And this was uh, in a dream from like a couple weeks ago. So, interesting enough, the Lord led me to the next chapter, Jeremiah 25. He's going in order. He's giving me a lot of Jeremiah's. He's given me Jeremiah 23, 24, and now 25. And what's next? So anyway... Let me go ahead and start um, the second part of my dream for you. Okay, so my dream is I was on a train, or I wasn't on a train, I'm sorry. I was at a train station, and I noticed, I saw some uh, celebrities, and I saw people from my past, and these were all people that, you know, believed in God, and... But from what I know as of right now, they're not walking in his ways. They're not walking and living by the word because they're still stuck in sin, but they are believers. So 
Um, and I saw some famous people like Britney Spears and Bob Saget. I was shown that each person had their own cab. And the train was still at the station, but the station outside that the, this train was at, it looked like it was in all gray. Like, uh, it was just really gray and very poor. The people outside of the station were were poor and they looked homeless and I remember these rich people like escorting Brittany uh, was walking that she was walking by these homeless people and and there were other rich people too and they were walking by these homeless people and I thought like they were gonna you know give them money or or feed them I was hoping that they would feed them and they just completely ignored them and I was like, oh no, you know, and I noticed that, um, outside of the train, like right in front of it, there was a small group of men who kind of, they look like Jewish men. And there was like maybe four of them and they were, um, taking shots and they said, one of them said, do you want a shot of Dennis? I thought that was really interesting. And then um, I had to go to the bathroom. And so uh, one of the people that I saw, they allowed me to use their, to go into the bathroom on the train. And on the train inside the cab, there was, I saw six stalls. And I couldn't go to the bathroom because each stall that I saw which I think might symbolize the person, like, because one whole cab was one bathroom, and I think it was for each person. Each person had their own toilet. <laughs> and I went to every single toilet, but it was filled with crap. Literally, it was clogged up with crap. And I was like, oh man, like, this sucks. I really have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and next thing I know, some some person appeared, I don't know who this person was, um, and they said, oh, you have to, he said, oh, don't worry, I'm, I'm about to flush this out, I'm, I'm gonna flush this, and that was the end of my dream, so it was very interesting, because the people, and the people that I saw from my past, you know, like I said, they are, as from what I know of, they are still living in that sin, and, you know, Britney Spears is a believer, but she's stuck in this, this mess with Hollywood and the Illuminati. And, you know, she's under that MK Ultra mind control. And, you know, Bob Saget, I don't really know much about him at all. So, and if you do, please share with me. Um, but I was, something that really stood out to me was Dennis. So I did some research, and I'm just going to share with you what I found, and then I'll share with you the scripture I was led to. So, Dennis comes from the Greco-Roman Dionysus. I think I said that right. I don't know. But it is the Greek god of wine, which also uh, means Dios, which is of Zeus. And I found out that the modern scholarship categorizes diocese as the dying and rising God. I thought that was really interesting. And I found out that this God, Dionysus, or whatever you want to call it, its fully developed form, his central cult imagery, shows his triumphant disorderly arrival or return as if from some place beyond the borders of the known and civilized i thought that was interesting that his triumphant disorderly arrival when i saw triumphant i thought about that arch that arch of bale the what they called the triumphant arch I'm like, hmm, but also, apparently, this Greek 
this Greco-Roman god, um, it is he rides a chariot, or it rides a chariot drawn by big cats, like lions and tigers and leopards. And I'm like, wow, there's so many things that stuck out to me here from Revelation 13, where the beast rises up out of the sea as if like this beast has died and has risen, you know, and it does say that there was one of the heads that was mortally, it, it was wounded, it was wounded to death, but its wound was healed. And, and the heads were of cheat. Uh, I'm sorry, the heads were, was leopards. The, this beast was leopard. And I was like, whoa, that's just crazy. I mean, so very interesting. I don't want to concentrate so much on that part, but let me share with you the scripture. So when these men said, do you want a shot of Dennis? Dennis meaning wine. Okay, so this is, um, let me find it, do, 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 Lord. Here it is, judgment on the nation. So this is Jeremiah twenty five fifteen. For thus says the Lord God of Israel to me, Take this cup of wine of fury from my hand, and cause all the nations to whom I send you to drink it. And they will drink and stagger and go mad because of the sword that I will send among them. Then I took the cup from the Lord's hand and made all the nations drink to whom the Lord had sent me. Jerusalem and the cities of Judah, its kings and its princes, to make them a desolation, an astonishment, a hissing, and a curse, as it is this day. Pharaoh, king of Egypt, his servants, his princes, and all his people, all the mixed multitude, all the kings of the land of Uz, and all the kings of the land of the Philistines, and the remnant of Ashdod. And then it continues to go on. I'll go to skip to 27. Therefore you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Drink, be drunk, and vomit. Fall which I send among you. And it shall be, if they refuse to take the cup from your hand to drink, then you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord of hosts, you shall certainly drink. For behold, I begin to bring calamity on the city, which is called by my name. And should you be utterly unpunished, you shall not be unpunished. For I will call for a sword on the inhabitants of the earth, says the Lord of hosts. Therefore prophesy against them all these words and say to them, The Lord will roar from on high and utter his words from his holy habitation. He will roar mightily against his fold. He will give a shout as those who tread the grapes against all the inhabitants of the earth. A noise will come to the ends of the earth. For the Lord has a controversy with the nations. He will plead his case with all flesh. He will give those who are wicked to the sword, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Behold, disaster shall go forth from nation to nation, and a great whirlwind shall be raised up from the farthest parts of the earth. Mm, and I can just continue to read on, but um, I, w I won't. <laughs> but um, I encourage you to read Jeremiah 25 and see what the Holy Spirit will reveal to you. And pray about everything that you hear. I plead the blood of Jesus over this message. And I pray that you guys just seek the Lord with all of your heart like never before, for the time is coming very quick upon us. So I love you all and God bless you.